Good morning, gladiators. Um, don't forget that the first half of class, we will be uh, at the counselor's Zoom lesson. Today is Thursday, March 25th. The second half of class, we will be reviewing topic sentences mm -hmm. and um, support or examples in Schoology. So yesterday we, or on um, Tuesday, we revised for your thesis and we highlighted your thesis in your essay. I hope everybody had a chance to do that. In your thesis, you should have a position on the topic and reason one and reason two in one sentence. So here's my example. We should learn from our mistakes. That's my position on the topic or the point. Reason one, so we do not run the risk of repeating our bad decisions. And reason number two, so we can gain confidence to make the right choice the next time we are in that situation. This is my topic sentence number one, and this will be my topic sentence number two in each body paragraph. So I already know what my topics of each paragraph are going to be based on my reasons in my thesis. So here is what topic sentence number one would look like. When we learn from our mistakes, we learn not to make the same mistake twice, which is exactly what this says in red. Topic sentence number two, learning from our mistakes helps us to become more confident when we are faced with the same difficult situation again. Um, so we could maybe take out the word same and again because it's, it's repeating. So in my thesis, I'm taking my reasons and making them into topic sentences. A topic sentence expresses the main point of the entire paragraph. Everything in that paragraph should relate to the topic sentence. It helps you to keep your writing focused. It helps to guide the reader through your argument or your essay. Um, it should focus on a single idea. By stating the main idea in the topic sentence, you clarify what the paragraph is going to be about for yourself and your reader. Make sure that you reread this and you study it because we're going to take an exit ticket today and it's going to ask you questions based on this slide and, and the rest of the slide presentation. So a topic sentence um, are like signposts. They tell the reader which direction your argument is going or your essay is going. So you're going to go back to your essay. I'm going to move the essay into Thursday's um, daily folder, the one that we wrote on Monday about being a good leader and highlight your topic sentence in blue. Every body paragraph should have a clear, concise topic sentence. When you're done with that, you are going to think about your examples or your evidence based on that topic sentence. The rest of your paragraph should flow logically from your topic sentence. You should expand on the point with evidence, examples, or argument. It helps your paragraph stay focused. Everything in that you write should relate to the central idea expressed in the topic sentence. And remember, these are three ways you can support or expand or use as examples based on your topic sentence. You could use text to text, which are examples from books and articles and stories. You could use text to self, examples from your life or text to world, examples from history or current events. So a story, a movie, TV, a short story about yourself, an actual event, which would be a text to world, and a recent event would be text to world as well. So this little acronym STAR should help you to expand on your um, topics. So let's take a look at this model example about taking risks. This essay scored a three. Taking risks is important to people's success. Some risks may be dangerous, even life-threatening, and with an unknown outcome. Although taking chances can be harmful, they can certainly be beneficial as well. Teachers, at this time, please prepare to transition into your next rotation with the Valerie. Thank so you. Here is my only body paragraph. Okay, this is my introduction, this is my conclusion, here is my topic sentence. 
Risk taking is an important strategy used by many successful people in the past and present. This author took a text to world um, approach to providing an example. Benjamin Franklin took a risk by taking, tying a small key to the end of a kite and flying it out into a severe thunderstorm. Lightning struck the kite and traveled down to the key. Benjamin Franklin had taken this risk and although dangerous, had discovered electricity. If he hadn't taken that risk, we could still be using oil lanterns to light up a dark house. Taking chances is an important to success and progress. Although the outcome is unknown and the process could be dangerous, it could greatly impact and positive, positively change the lives of millions of people. So why do you suppose this paper scored a three, which is a good score? They had an excellent text to world example of Benjamin Franklin. They had a thesis, they had a good conclusion. They wrapped it up nicely. I think because they only used one example only one text to world example is the reason why they didn't receive a four. I would probably say they could have used some better word choice, a little bit more insight um, by adding a second example. But if you just use one example, if you could only think about one example and you um, expand and elaborate on that example, then you could just score a three. Now this one was a, was a two. What improvements or revisions could we could the author have made to um, raise their score? Taking chances, one of the biggest, hardest parts of life. I mean, what if the United States never took the chance to fight for freedom? Where would we all be right now? Taking chances can either make you or break you. They will either make you a stronger person or they will knock you down to the point where only you can be the one to help you back up. If you don't take chances, where does that put you in life? It puts on the same boring level on every person on the planet. If you didn't take a chance, what would make you any different from anyone else? So all of this that is mentioned is almost like a bridge. It's just on topic about taking a chance. It's trying to convince the reader to take a chance, but it doesn't really give an example. They might mention this United States, but it doesn't really tell us what fight for freedom they're referring to. Now they do mention a, an example here. What if Michael Jordan never took the chance to try out for basketball? He would be a nobody. He would have gotten nowhere in life. He could be living at home with his mom working at McDonald's. So there is a brief two sentence example, text a world about Michael Jordan, but it is not elaborated and it doesn't really have insight. In fact, I'm not sure if it's even true because who knows what else he could have done. And I don't think McDonald's was his only option if he didn't play basketball. But he took a chance and made something out of life. So this is the bare minimum that you could do to score a two, which is a passing score, but it's more like a 70, a 65. Um, if you don't organize into paragraphs, don't have topic sentences, and you don't elaborate on examples, if you just kind of talk about the prompt in one big giant paragraph, and maybe mention uh, an example in a sentence or two. Teachers, at this time, please prepare to transition into your next rotation when the bell rings. Thank th you. This will give you the bare minimum score of a two. So many of you do not have paragraphs, and many of you do not have separate topic sentences in your essay that I was reviewing. So we're going to revise your essay. Remember, it is a test grade. You're going to go back and you're going to make sure each sentence in your paragraph is focused on the same topic of your topic sentence. We've already highlighted our topic sentence. Now let's look at our examples and our elaboration. Make sure you have separated into paragraphs. At the end of your paragraph, press enter. Space five times at the beginning of your new paragraph. So I should see paragraphs with an indention like this, okay, since we're typing it. There are no paragraphs here. I don't see a topic sentence. Um, and so we are going to go from here to this, this score or even higher to a four if you can. So that's all I have for you today, Gladiators. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
Oh, I'm sorry. And don't forget to take your exit ticket. 